I'd like to introduce you to the great artist and philosopher of the guitar, my colleague and friend, Pepe Romero. Concierto de Aranjuez, a piece that I have played, I would say, a thousand times. Every time is new, every time is fresh. I was very fortunate to have a, an incredible relationship as a, as a friend and a collaborator with Rodrigo. I've done three world premieres of his five guitar concertos and uh, worked with him in, in numerous publications and feel very, very close to him. Rodrigo gives us, right from the start, the, the connection so that performing the Aranjuez can be the easiest thing. He gives us that long, note, deep note by the basses, and the guitar entering together in a dance of that long resonance that feels like it's coming from the depth of the cosmos. And then the dance-like, rhythmical, punctuated entrance of the guitar with the rasgeados. And together, if you as a player enter and you become very aware that everything you're doing is dancing in this eternal sound that is the sound of eternity. That's what the bass line at the beginning of the Aranjuez signifies. It has to connect to that that the bass is carry on and we must Side, always surrounded by that long sound of the bass, we are set. And then the music takes us. The rest you have to finish and wake up from the dream with it at the end. What happens? in between is all magical. Now, we have to be able to play it. So, what we have to do is make sure that, um, that we have a good connection to, uh, to the rhythm, to the accent. The first movement is very uh, accented 
and we have to sing. You have to have the accent and the joy. etc etc and then the piece takes care of itself we have to always keep a, a, a very good um, connection to all the instruments our ears have to be open to listen to the to the orchestra the bassoon players when when we play of this and it becomes a dream and every single time is a different experience is a fresh experience make sure that when you practice it that you free like for anything else the Aranjuez is no different from anything else one of the things is we have to be able to play it, but for some reason, the Aranjuez carries with it an almost um, frightening thing to many players. We have to think of it as an easy piece. And um, it must be easy. We have to the, choose the right fingerings, fingerings that make legato connections even during the staccato, because it's, it's always, Rodrigo is always mixing very precise staccato with long legato lines. So to be connected to the music, to be connected with the, with the orchestra, and to have your ears to the orchestra, your eye to the conductor, and your mind open to dream. Because as any piece of music that is truly inspired, it takes on its own identity, it takes on its own world, and if you connect to it, it will take you into different journeys every single time that you play it. <laughs> Thank you.